In this project, we'll create a survey page. First, we see the questions part of this project. We have three steps. In step one, we need the personal info from the user. We see a rather advanced form here. And when we click on step two, we'll jump to the second step here. Here we see various ways to answer questions uh, with different answers. In the first five, the user can use radio buttons or type in some additional text. We have an image and a question in the top. Then on question number six to 10, we use checkboxes instead so the user can select multiple options. In the bottom, we can click on step three. First, it will scroll up and then it will automatically change to step three. This is questions with ratings. In question number 11 to 15, we see the question and some description. And then the user can select a rating using radio buttons and write a comment as well. In question 16 to 20, the user can use radio buttons styled as a button group instead and also add a comment and then the user can submit this whole form. So let's see how this works responsively for mobile device. The um, form will be stacked on top of each other and then changed into a two column grid like so. For our questions with answers, we can see that the question is followed by the figure and then the answers, the radio buttons. This is the same all the way down. And for our last step, we also see that initially everything is stepped on top of each other until we reach a bigger breakpoint. The other page that we're going to create is the results page, the other part of this project. So in the beginning, we see some results with progress bars where the user can see the amount of correct answers, for example, four out of five or two out of five. I've chosen to use the success color for the highest one and the danger color for the lowest one and the info color for the middle ones. This is results for ratings. Then we have results with percentages where we also use progress bars with the same colors. And for each answer, we can see how many of the users have voted for this specific answer. And we see the percentages. And down here, we see our answer distribution. So we see all of the different answers lined up next to each other. So this is multiple progress bars in one pro progress bar. If you hover over the progress bar, you'll see a tooltip with the percentage number showing. So the total is 100%. This is of course also responsive. So initially for mobile devices, we'll see the question followed by the progress bar like so. And when we reach a higher breakpoint, we'll see it turns into this two column grid layout. So this was an introduction to the survey project.